Coach Coltar from 92 Mesh Group, and I'd just like to thank you guys for uh, supporting the channel. And uh, today we are going to talk a little bit about installing Y Cross in fall camp. Uh, a lot of you guys were, gave me a lot of positive responses in, in the installing Y Stick Y Corner video I did, so I thought I would kind of walk you through how we teach Y Cross when we put it in in fall camp. Um, and, you know, and in spring ball as well, but, you know, we try to start over. Um, in, in fall camp just to kind of get ourselves going. Um, so, so basically what we start off with is, is, you know, we'll start off in doubles, you know, in ace. And what we're going to teach is the front side of the play because the back side of the play pretty much stays the same. And, and so X, you know, obviously is going to have a more route, and, and, and that's the kind of key on that. So if you've already taught, you know, uh, six calls, then, then it's pretty easy. But, you know, we just tell him he must outside release. He has to outside release on that deal. Um, and, and, you know, I, like I said, I'm a vertical guy on cross. I tag post. I do not run post from the giddy up. Um, so, you know, for us, that's a more route. And then what we tell H is, you know, you have an option. Now, here's the thing. If you're young in the air raid, don't give him an option. Just tell him to run a five-yard out. You know, just tell them to run a five yard out. And I had a conversation at the clinic with a couple of guys talking about verticals and, and how difficult that can be um, if you give them too much early. So we start off with a little five yard out on that deal. Um, you know, obviously you can make it a hitch or, or, a, or a return or whatever you want to do. Some people even just bubble that, which is fine too. Um, but, you know, whatever it is, just give them one option to start off with and it really works. Now, as far as why is concerned, what we tell him is, is to go under Sam over Mike, which is, you know, that's pretty easy. Under Sam over Mike. But, uh, you know, that, that doesn't necessarily hold true in a lot of these 3-4 defenses and things like that. So what we tell why is to get underneath the flat defender. So if that's Sam, that's great. If it's a safety, that's okay too. But we want him to release inside and then climb over top of the inside linebacker. So whether that's Mike or, you know, the strong side inside guy, if it's a 3-4. But that's kind of what we tell him. Get underneath the flat defender, get over the, um, the inside guy. Now, as far as the quarterback is concerned, he's going to take his three, his three big, his big drop three steps. Now, we do play action this play quite a bit. This is our, you know, we play action inside zone off of this. And, and so that can change our route. But if we do play action, R is going to fit in in pass protection. He's not going to come in and then go back out unless we do like a little slow screen off of that, which is a pretty cool little thing. Maybe we'll do a video on that sometime. But what we tell the quarterback is this. Once Mike is stacked, Y is open. And, and so what, what Y is going to do is once he gets in the middle, he's going to climb at an angle to 22 yards. But once he is here, we tell the quarterback, throw it in the grass. Okay, throw, throw, him, in the, throw him in the hole because once he gets Mike stacked, if that grass is open, put it right there because he's going to get there. He's going to continue and he's going to be open. And, and so that's kind of what we tell him is once Mike is stacked, Y is open, put the ball in the hole and, and it'll be a good play. And then on the back side, we just tell him, you know, we're going to run curl flat and and so we, we really just, you know, in, in a perfect world, I'd say, hey, we go, you know, peak, cross, option, curl flat. But really, we go peak, cross, option, take off. Um, but that's just kind of how we put it in. Now, I do not run the play both ways. I only run it from the right. You know, I'm one of them old school guys. Some people will put it in underneath H. Other people have decided to put a 10-yard out right here, and they're kind of getting a twofer. They're running sail and cross and those kind of things. But, you know, right now, we just, when we first put it in, we don't get cute on it. Um, our tags or posts on either side, and then our wheel, um, that's kind of the tags that we put on, um, on 95. So hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of how we teach the play, some of the key coaching points on that deal. That deal about stacking mic is really, really important. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I appreciate you guys following the channel, you know, checking out the store. Uh, we got some good stuff on the store right now, a 92 Mesh Group store. We got our, uh, our, our official T-shirts have come in. So if you'd like to get a T-shirt, check them out. They're, they're really, really affordable on there. And then we also have our Stealth, um, our Stealth Series shirts 
that just came in as well. So, you know, check those out on the store and uh, hit me up on Twitter at Coach Cole Tharp if you have any questions. We also uh, restarted our 92 Mesh Room Twitter that we'll be releasing some more information on a little bit later. But just as always, spin it to win. Yeah.